Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, I'm GC Smith, and as you might imagine from the title of this video, today we're going to be talking about the ProTor Gauntlet. Now, for those of you who don't know, the ProTor Gauntlet was something that was announced before the ProTor that was going to contain some of the best decks at, featured at the ProTor during the modern constructed portion. And it would be a system where you pay six tickets or 60 play points, get given one of the decks at random, and play it for three rounds of Swiss. And then prizes would be paid out depending on how well you do. Obviously, this is a phantom event. You don't get to keep any of the cards you use. Um... And before the Pro Tour, this event sounded amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, you know, I was really excited about it. I don't have the tickets or the money to be able to afford any real modern decks. And so I was really excited about being able to play really, really good decks. Now, the problem with this is uh, that none of the decks I really like enjoy playing would be in the pool. I know that much. Uh, Twin was going to be banned. Um, so... We weren't going to get Twin, that got banned already. And we weren't going to get Amulet Bloom because that got banned already. So there's no way they would feature at the Pro Tour. There's also the fact that Modern is a really hostile format to control. Simply because Wizards refuses to print the control elements uh, Modern needs. Because Wizards has the policy of printing everything in Modern through Standard. And so they won't print any of the good control cards that Modern needs in Standard. They think it would be too powerful. So there's no way we're getting them in Modern. Uh, so, I would be getting decks I don't really normally play and wouldn't necessarily enjoy playing, um, but I thought it'd be fun, it'd be nice to get a different take on things, and who knows, And we might get some really interesting decks at the Pro Tour. Then the Pro Tour came, day one and two went, and the top eight was announced, and I instantly knew that this event, uh, the Pro Tour Continent, wouldn't be as good as I thought it would be, because six of the top eight decks were Eldrazi. Because Eldrazi was just so much better than any other deck in the format uh, that it was obscene. Uh, okay, the blue-red Eldrazi beat the colorless Eldrazi, but the colorless Eldrazi was still better than every other non-Eldrazi deck in the format by a large, large margin. But, hey, you know, we don't know if the Eldrazi deck is that busted. Maybe some of the decks in the format have a good matchup. So last night I uh, took part in the Gauntlet for the first time because it was uploaded yesterday. And I got given Affinity for my first Pro Tour Gauntlet. And first match was against uh, one of the Eldrazi decks. I think it was the Blue-Red Eldrazi deck. And I did beat it 2-0. Now, a lot of this was to do, actually, with the fact that I knew to aggressively mulligan in Modern. Uh, I knew Modern was a format where you need certain cards in your opening hand, especially in a deck like Affinity. And my opponent probably was more of a standard limited player and wasn't used to having to aggressively mulligan for certain cards. And as such, he never really mulliganed until he hit a really aggressive Eldrazi hand, and so I just overwhelmed him both games. Uh, but when you actually do go against an opponent who aggressively mulligans, as I did this morning, uh, when I was playing either uh, Scape Shift or uh, what was the other deck I played? Oh yeah, Blue Moon. Uh, you just got run over because their turn one uh, two drop into turn two Thought Not Seer rips your hand apart every time. Even if you have Remand into Blood Moon, you're still facing a two-powered or three-powered creature if they had Simeon Spirit Guide on turn one that you can't really deal with that easily. And, okay, if you have Lightning Bolt, but yeah, there are just so many things that can go wrong in the format. And everything went wrong uh, for me so far this morning. Uh, the first deck I got, which was Blue Moon, does have a reasonable matchup uh, against uh, some of the other decks in the format. Uh, but I felt that I... Okay, I made a couple of play mistakes to the deck, not remanding a spell I should have done because I pressed F6 or something, I think, by accident instead of F2. Um, but there were a couple of things I did do wrong in a couple of the other matches against uh, in Affinity and against uh, Scape Shift. Uh, yeah, Scape Shift, I just didn't leave up a counter spell when I should have done, probably. Uh, but now playing Scape Shift, I really feel that this thing is entirely out of whack. The Scape Shift did go, like, 8-2, and two, 
But the problem is that 8-2, those eight wins probably weren't against Eldrazi decks. There were so few Eldrazi decks actually at the Pro Tour. Uh, there was less than 10% of the field actually took part with Eldrazi decks, which meant he probably faced non-Eldrazi decks all day. And when you face Eldrazi decks, you just lose. Uh, there's not really much you can do about it. And Scape Shift's not even that good against some of the more aggressive decks, simply because you just lose like really, really quickly. Uh, so that's my big problem actually with the Pro Tour Gauntlet right now is that the format isn't balanced at all. It's like you're trying to play because there's only eight players, the top eight of the Pro Tour. And if someone gets an Eldrazi deck, they win. They do go pretty much 3-0 and unless they're an idiot because it's really hard to lose that deck. It's really simple to play and it's just so much further ahead than any of the other decks in the format. It's obscene. The only way that deck loses, if you get a slightly slow hand, keep it, and you're against Affinity. Like, that's pretty much the only way you lose, or maybe Infect. But no, this format is really not uh, balanced, and that's such a shame for something that should be so good. Like, a Gauntlet-style thing for the Pro Tour is such a great idea, as it allows you to play decks you could never afford, or never would have thought of, and just have a little bit of fun for the week following the Pro Tour. Now, there's certain things to note here. Firstly, this is modern, um, a format which uh, is not the most diverse at the moment. Uh, again, because of the Eldrazi and because of other things. Um, I feel that the format is very much aggro or big mana. You can't really be a control deck in this format, unfortunately, simply due to the fact that they refuse to give control the reasonable tools to compete with the aggro and big mana things. Like, they don't even get counterspell, which means you're stuck doing things like mana leak, which early game is basically a counterspell. I do agree. Uh, but very quickly falls off against some of the big mana strategies. Um, or... They, you know, they refuse to give them the land hate they need, like Wasteland, which I think is necessary in modern. I also think things like, um, what is it? Not Brainstorm, uh, the five mana counter spell from uh, Legacy, which the name for some reason, uh, Force of Will, that's it, Force of Will, uh, is nest things like that I think are quite necessary in a format like uh, modern with how aggressive it is and how just over the top it is, but we're never going to get those pieces because they're never going to come through standard. So the only way we're going to get them into modern is if they actually print a format which just says this cards go straight into modern, but I think the rules don't allow that at the moment. But that doesn't mean, by the way, don't, don't, I just want to get this out, though. I do not think the Pro Tour Gauntlet is a bad idea. I just think it was a bad Pro Tour to implement it for. Um, so, yeah, the really good thing is that this is such a good idea. I'm still having fun. Don't get me wrong. I I'm enjoying playing decks and having to think of new ways to win and think of new ways and how to play the deck. Uh, but I do think that some of the other decks... It it's just not a fair format at the moment in Modern. Um, the Eldrazi decks are not only so good, but so easy to play. It like They're so linear. And then you've got decks like Scape Shift and Infect and whatever. And, and they're not actually that easy to play compared to the Eldrazi decks. Um, you have a lot of different decisions to make. Uh, and you've got to like, do I play this? Do I play this? Do I play this? And I also don't think the Scape Shift deck is an ideal version of a Scape Shift deck compared to what I've seen. It's red-green. And I do think the Scape Shift deck should be slightly more controlling or slightly more certain way. Although, actually, I do think the best thing is that you do get to swap some of the sideboard and mainboard cards before the event begins. So, if you play it right and uh, you predict the kind of uh, matchups you'll play in order, you can, like, add an angle of the board's mainboard or add something else mainboard to help you really win the game one aggro matchups, uh, which I think may be necessary in this format. So, it, it's still very... There's still a bit of control in what how you play your deck, and you do obviously get time to actually look at your deck over. You don't just go, start the game, here's your opening hand. Oh, this is the deck I'm playing. Yay! How do I mulligan? Um, so it's very cool to see that you do at least get that. Uh, so yeah, uh, this has been the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Pro Tour Gauntlet. Uh, for too long, didn't watch. Uh, it's basically a good idea, bad implementation due to the bad, stagnant format of the modern Pro Tour. Uh, the fact that some decks are just better than others. Hopefully, though, they do continue this idea and develop it with uh, the next Pro Tour, which will be standard, which will be good, Pro Tour uh, Shadows of Innistrad. So hopefully the th the Pro Tour content will be slightly more diverse next time or slightly better with more balanced decks against each other. 
So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I really like the fact that I'm actually get, starting to get a few more views recently, though some of that's to do with Reddit. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.